Hi there, it's Lori Pinto from Lollipop Paper and lollipoppaperandink.com. Today I'm with you with the Lollipop Paper to Go for October, and um, this is just a quick video on how to um, put these very simple cards together. Um, for this month, I did showcase the first frost bundle, so it was the stamp set and the um, frosted bouquet framelits dies but I usually design them so that uh, you can use any stamp set that you do have on hand. So let's get busy. This, these are the three cards that um, I showcased and that you get the materials to um, put together to each of each of these designs. And that's how the, um, <clears throat> that's how the package comes. This is how it looks. This is all the materials that you need. Everything is cut. The only thing that's different is that you won't have the um, stamped images on yours, but everything else is the same. So let's start with this one. Like I said, most of these are just um, adhering the layers because everything is everything else is done for you. Uh, for this car for this um, layer that I put on here. I use the Mossy Meadow and I use this um, embossing folder. And this I believe is, was one of two, it was the Petal Pear. And um, the only thing I did for here is that I wanted to make sure that the buds were kind of going up. So I put it in this way, because you can see that these, I don't know if you can see, that these are going up. And I just put it in like that, ran it through the brick, Big Shot, and that's how I got that. And that was it. So I'm going to put that on first. Let me just make sure I have everything here. And um, I, I would, lately I've been using a lot more of the uh, Tombow liquid glue. And I would definitely use that for something um, that's embossed on a, an embossed layer. But for this card and for the sake of the video, I'm just doing everything quick so you can see how easy it is. This I try to get the um, floral pattern to be going up. Flowers always grow up. And that's a little crooked. And you know how I don't like crooked, so okay. <clears throat> So that's on there like that. So when I put my little um, sprigs here and I punched this, these out, one with vellum and one with uh, the mossy meadow, and I use the sprig punch, which is getting a lot of use. I did one card where I used them as antlers on, um, <clears throat> I think it was the dashing deer. So what I do here is I'm just going to um, adhere it to the bottom side of the tag and make sure that they both have some adhering here. And you can pick it up so that you know where it's, where it's going from that side. And then that's it. I'm gonna use some dimensionals to pop that up. <clears throat> and you can see how quick and easy these are. And you can stamp any sentiment that you have on this tag and make it for, for appropriate for whatever you're um, whatever you're, the intent of is the card. Oh. Okay. All right. And you can just put this anywhere. I like to just cross over a little onto both designs. And there we go. Done. Oh, no, we're not done. I forgot. I have this little um, bow that I made out of the, um, what was that? That was the festive... Uh, farmhouse twine and I've done this before where I'm just going to put the knot right over the glue dot and if the glue dot shows a little just give it a little pinch before you pick it up and then I had this going sideways right here now we're done perfect okay on to card number two this one again super simple I used um, go glue dot this is done with the uh, soft suede and we'll just get that on as our bottom layer.
Okay, I do like to open it up a little. It gives me a little bit of a sturdier base to do this. And usually I have my grid paper underneath it and that kind of helps me line it up. Um, I don't know, it just kind of gives my eyes a place to land. And that's always appreciated. is to put together and this is the um, frosted floral uh, this is gonna bother me uh, frosted floral DSP which oh my gosh I think I'm on my third pack already it is so beautiful some of them have um, little um, glossy shiny areas to them that uh, it just picks up beautifully. I love this watercolor floral look anyway. So these two are just sprigs that I had that were part of the um, the dies and I'll do the same thing here. I'll just put them on either side of my sentiment tag. However you want to lay them out. And did I put one yet? Yeah. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to pop this one up with some uh, dimensionals too. What did I do with them? They're right here. Okay. Now, the only thing I forgot to take out was the metallic pearls, but I think they're pretty close by, so I'll get those. All right, so this is just going right here, just as a um, all right, I'd have to put these in a little bit more, but I can fix that later. But you get the idea. They go over a little bit more. And then on top, I just put a few, I think you can see, just a few of the um, metallic pearls. And they come in gold and silver. I use them a lot too. Um, they take the place of those enamel dots, which I'm very sorry are not available anymore. I used to love those. Okay, this is card number two is done. The third one, again, it's done with the same stamp set, same dies, and um, the frosted floral uh, DSP, which is very cool looking. All right, so this again is layers, and let's, what did I do with that card? There it is. All right, so I can put this one on first. I love the back side of this one too. I've used that several times. It's a pretty gray. It's the gray granite and um, with a little shimmery leaf design on the inside. Okay, so for here, oh, I'm also gonna put a little square of vellum on. And if you've seen my video on adhesives, back to basics, I think, uh, you, you would see that, whoop, how I adhere the vellum so that you don't see anything. And you can always check out my video, but this is what I do. I just put a blob of the Tombow on there, take a little sponge and just sponge it. And don't worry about that coming off your uh, silicone sheet. It will just pop right off. With a little finger action, you can get that right off. And center this on the the um, card front and you can't see it and it, it has a nice hole to it so that's that all right so before I put this on the card base I have a little um, bow here just one ended one one side of it and then I cut it towards the back and I, I mean I glued it towards the back so what I did was I made my bow here in advance and I'm just gonna put it here and wrap it around and then I, I'm just gonna put some um, a piece of scotch tape there because it is so thick. This twine is, um, I think this was from the Nature's Twine group and I use it a lot. It's very easy to use because it um, it's thicker than the regular twine. And I'm just gonna give this knot a little base to get stuck on there and squeeze that a little so you don't see it. And, whoop, oh, I squeezed it so well that I can't find it now. 
Alright, let's try it again. Okay. So there, that's like that. Alright, now we can adhere this to the card base. And I was never a believer in the Tombow. I always used my snail and then I did that adhesive video of just um, all the different kinds of video and I have been using it ever since because it is such a good hold and it is easier and it gives you a little, um, just a little bit of a fudge time to, to get it set where you want it. So here the same thing like we did before, I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. Oh, I think I'm getting low on that. And I'm going to put this up here. And then two more of vellum. And this is the same that we used for the other one. These are from the Sprigs Sprig Punch. How do I want that? I want that to come up. Okay. And then dimensionals. And I try to get these videos less than 10 minutes and I just can't seem to get to that goal. So I'm working on it, but this is how we do it. They're super simple to do. All of my packs come um, individually wrapped with each card. You have all the materials for the four, for the two projects for each of the three cards. So it's six projects all together. So there we go. These are our three projects um, for the October first frost lollipop to go class. So I hope you come back in um, November. My class will be the uh, Dashing Deer uh, bundle. And um, I have some really uh, cool projects to work out with that. So thanks for visiting me. Thanks for taking the class this time. And I hope you um, can leave me some comments. That would be great. Let me know what you think of the class and uh, your packages, how they came. And I will be back next month. Thank you. Bye-bye.